Good morning everyone, this is Multigame Master one and welcome back to my 100% Let's Play of Pikmin. Yesterday we found the remaining ship parts in the Forest of Hope and pretty much got everything done for the area for now. So today we're going to explore our new destination that has opened up, the Forest Naval. So let's do this. So as we can see, the environment in the forest naval is pretty much established in a very dark cave. But as long as we have Pikmin, we'll be fine. Now the first thing I want to do is start by getting some yellow Pikmin. I'll take 10 out. And come over to this little area over here to get some bomb rocks. I do believe there are a total of 10 bomb rocks to be found here, so... We'll have enough for the group. Two Pikmin seem to be missing bomb rocks. Let's just go ahead and get that four. Okay, maybe there was just nine. Or then again, maybe check maybe check again perhaps? No? Okay, well. Let's just move on from this point. There's a ship part right there, but we'll get to it either later or tomorrow. Right now, I just want to take care of a few things around here. So, come on, yellow Pikmin. Up you go. And the very first thing that I want to do is to bring down this rock wall over here to create a means of a shortcut for the Pikmin. And what's that tapping noise? Okay, we have a new enemy. This is known as a bread bug. I'll get more into it later when the time is right. Oh, that was very close. I was afraid that the Pikmin would get caught up in the blast. Let's see, we have three more bomb rocks. What can I do with them? Well, I guess I could use them to tear down this wall as well. This wall is pretty much weaker, weaker than the rock wall, so it'll take less bomb rocks to do. That one is white, so it takes two bomb rocks for it to be destroyed. And we have another one over here. Let's just go ahead and do some slight damage to it. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the yellow Pikmin. All that I can think of at the moment. So now I'm going to send these guys back. And do some exploring on my own. And I see something down here. I wonder what's... Oh, it's the blue onion. You know what that means. Blue Pikmin. And that means new capabilities. For us to discover. So we'll just wait for it to sprout. And this one appears to be walking in the water. It is a Pikmin of yet another color. Near this one's cheeks is what appears to be a set of gills. This trait suggests to me that this blue type of Pikmin can enter the water without any trouble whatsoever. There's only one way to find out. I will use A to hold one and press B to swap it out and issue it my commands. So now we have blue Pikmin and pretty much these guys can... Sorry, that was my phone. As I was saying, these guys can pretty much thrive in the water as you can currently see which will be exceptionally useful I'm not going to grab this pellet just yet okay I guess the Pikmin will send it back for us but I really need to save these pellets for something very important so here's the return of the bread bug, and this creature just... It doesn't do any harm to the Pikmin, but it just snatches away the scraps that you recover. You want to use your Pikmin to get the scraps back. And the amount of Pikmin that it takes to carry the object... Will be double if you want to get the scraps back from the bread bug. And after that, he takes some major damage. 
So, one more hit to his back will do it. We're just gonna have him grab one last pellet for that to happen. And with another hit to his back, the creature is defeated and he drops another ship part. Thank goodness, my space float! This float is an absolute necessity for any pilot who lacks skill at swimming in space. Ah, oh, poor breadbug. You live such a good life of snatching away scraps. For it to be wasted is kind of sad. Anyway, on to getting some more Pikmin, and I'm pretty sure that this is the only thing I'm going to do for today. Boost up the Pikmin population, basically. Let's see. No good place for some enemies. These enemies right here are known as Shearwigs. They're far different from the Shear Grubs because they can fly whenever they're damaged. Like so. And the best way to defeat them is to have the Pikmin get right behind it and attack its back. Then attack it with the Pikmin while it's in midair. Okay, very good. Two more Shearwigs over here. Let's just take out one at a time to be safe. And here's the last one. Hope it doesn't launch on the Pikmin. And there we go. Now we'll have the blue Pikmin carry these scraps back as well. Let's see, I wonder how many Pikmin it takes to lift this ship apart. I think it's a total of somewhere between 20 and 25. Let me see. 25, okay. Well, we have just enough Pikmin, and I think I'll go ahead and take this back as soon as the Pikmin have sprouted. But of course, not before getting some nectar for these guys, because the more the Pikmin mature, the faster they become, as we all know until now. And past this wall here, we have some fire jets. We'll worry about them, and I'll talk to you guys some more about them as we come across them at some point. Alright, so let's get these guys some nectar. Where can I find some nectar? Oh, we have some rocks here. Let's see if the Pikmin will react to this. And indeed, they do react with hopes of finding some nectar, and they have found some nectar. Let's see if we can get some more for him. No, Pikmin, to the rock. Don't worry about the pellet posy. More nectar. There we go. More nectar for more Pikmin, and the Pikmin have unfortunately timed that incorrectly. But it's okay. And I guess I could show you this now. This geyser can be used to launch you up new heights. All you do is just stand on top of it, and it'll pretty much provide uh, serve as a shortcut for you. Just in case you need to get to some place important real quick. Okay, so we have some more pellets around here. I guess I'll focus on getting these. Hold on, Blue Pikmin. Okay, there we go. Time it carefully. Usually nail the throws. Okay, there. There you go, Blue Pikmin. Let's see if we can find some more. More Peliposis. There's some over there.
There you go, blue Pikmin. And I know some Pikmin seeds have already sprouted, but we'll get those as soon as we can. You'll find geyser holes such as these, which will be clogged. Just use the Pikmin to unpatch them. This way you can activate the shortcut. Let's see, we have another ship part over there. Guess I'll get this one. But first, we really can't reach it, and neither can the Pikmin, but they can do so by means of constructing a little climbable bridge to the ship part. And some more Peliposies right there, I just saw that. And give them a whistle to prevent them from being hurt from fall damage. I found the automatic gear. This thing chugs right along at its own pace. It makes piloting much easier, giving me time to concentrate on the finer points of space travel. Before we get that, I just want to get these remaining pellets from the pellet posy real quick. Okay, now... The new Pikmin that have flourished. I think I may as well get some nectar from them as well. Fortunately, there was some nectar by the, um, the rich rock pile. So I'll go back and get those real quick. Well, as soon as these new Pikmin flourish, of course. And excuse me a second, I just need to adjust the headsets. Okay, so that appears to be it. Now, come on, come on, Pikmin. Let's see, where was the nectar? There it is. Okay, so one at a time. Get these guys together in the group. And did everyone get some? No. I think there was a honey wisp around here somewhere. I'm pretty sure there- there it is. But, I guess we have nectar from the grass, so we'll settle for that. And it looks like everyone got their share except for one. Okay, honey wisp, honey wisp. Come on, come on. I don't know why that took so long. And I don't know why I just moved on to the geyser. There really was no need for that either. Uh, let's just get these ship parts. Or as many as we can. So I think we'll start with the automatic gear. And we'll have the blue pick bin. The remaining ones get this one as well. And they should be able to get to the SS Dolphin in time before day's end. Automatic gear. It is thin cracks running through it. I tried to fill them with dirt. I hope it will be alright. Six of thirty parts recovered. Six more will increase the ship's capabilities. Let's see. We're almost at the approach of sundown, but... I want to give these Pikmin a little challenge. Wait, never mind. I don't have enough Pikmin for that. At least not at the moment, so we'll just worry about that tomorrow. What I was thinking was getting that one ship part from over in the water over there, but we don't have enough time. Or do we? I guess I could maybe try it out. 
Space float. An excellent swimmer like me has no need for something like this. But my motto is, always be prepared. Really, it's just for emergencies. I have now recovered 7 of 30 parts, 5 more will increase the ship's capabilities. So, let's see if the blue pigmen can actually carry this back in time. Actually, no. The timer has already started, so we'll come back to the ship part. Maybe not tomorrow, but some other time, because for tomorrow I have other plans. Now that we have all three different color Pikmin. So for now, I guess we'll just head back to the Dolphin and the Onions. And end the day right here. Right there we had a new enemy. I'll get to it as soon as we come across it during the day. Some other time. Five days since impact. Deep in the cave I discover in the forest, I encounter blue pigmen. These blue fellows have something resembling gills on their cheeks, and they appear to be amphibious, surviving both in water and on land. The wonders of nature never cease to stun me, even in this alien land. So today we picked up a new species of pigmen, boosted up their population by a fairly good amount, I would say. However, the population isn't as balanced as the red and yellow ones, but we'll take care of that tomorrow. And we also got two more ship parts, so we're really making good progress. And now with the day end, I think that's going to be it for today. So tomorrow, we're going to... Let me see, what do I want to do tomorrow? Well, I do really want to boost up the blue Pikmin population, and I can only think of one way that we can do it. But that way is going to have to involve us traveling back to the impact site in which we landed on since day one. So tomorrow we're going to head back to the impact site and try to find a way to boost up the Pikmin population as well as get that last ship part that we couldn't access before. So until tomorrow, I'm Multigame Master 1. Thanks for watching and have a good night.